always say, uh, farmers are killing the reef with sediment. But when you actually go out on the Great Barrier Reef, and I mean the Great Barrier Reef, which is almost 100 kilometres from here, you don't find any sediment, or virtually any sediment or mud from the land. They say farmers are killing the reef with all the fertiliser and nutrients. But when you actually go out on the Great Barrier Reef, the water quality is the same virtually as it is in the Pacific Ocean. There's as much water that comes in from the Pacific Ocean in just eight hours as comes down all the rivers in all of Queensland in all a year. The water quality of the reef is determined by the Pacific Ocean, not by farmers. They say that They say the farmers are killing the reef with pesticides. But when you actually go out onto the reef, they almost never even bother to, to measure them out there because they're in such low proportions. Even close in shore, they're mostly in not measurable amounts. Just a few chemicals are in very, very low amounts that aren't even, could not possibly affect corals or seagrasses or anything. And the interesting thing is that over the last couple of weeks, even the Institute of Marine Science and the ARC Centre of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies and JCU, they are not disputing these facts about the reef itself. But what they do is they talk about the inshore reefs. And this is a very, very, uh, un that they really shouldn't do this because it is giving the wrong impression of what those reefs are. The inshore reefs are like Magnetic Island behind us. They are not the Great Barrier Reef. There may be 1% of the coral. And you know what? Even those, in my view, are not affected by farmers. The Great Barrier Reef, uh, the uh, Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority just issued the 2019 outlook. And they said to the whole world, the whole world, that the inshore reefs are in very poor condition. They told the whole world effectively that the, effectively the Great Barrier Reef is because if you're in London or Sydney or New York, you don't make the dis distinction between the inshore reef and the Great Barrier Reef. It's just the Great Barrier Reef. And they told the whole world that the reef is completely, well, completely stuck, frankly. Can you imagine what that does to our tourist industry? You keep on telling the whole world that that's going on. And let me tell you, we are not the deniers here. This problem that we've got in the science is not just in Great Barrier Reef science. As I keep on telling the crowds up this coast, there's a thing called the replication crisis, where when they look at peer-reviewed science, they find that about 50% is wrong. And this isn't in reef science, this is in pharmacy and physics and pharmacology, you name it, about half of the science looks like it needs to be checked. Now that doesn't matter if they're not going to use science, the science to, to destroy industry, but in this case they are. And the science organisations are still in denial about their quality problems. For example, the 2017 consensus statement got an error of 100,000% in the quantity of metallic uh, herbicide. They got an, an error of 3,000% in the coal dust, which is supposed to be killing the reef. These are inexcusable errors. Now all I'm asking for and all you are asking for is just a little bit of quality assurance and checking on the side. This is not enough. We've got to keep on saying the same thing. We've got to check the science. 